Brandon Stark was the firstborn child to Lord Rickard Stark, Lord of Winterfell, and Lyara Stark in 262 AC. He had three other siblings, Ned Stark born a year later, Lyanna Stark born around 266 AC, and Benjen Stark born after 266 AC. Brandon's mother would die before him, his father would not. All of what we know of Brandon is pieced together by what others have said and thought about him. Brandon was a wild wolf, with his younger brother Ned noting that Brandon had more than a touch of wolf blood or wildness in him. Brandon loved his sword, with him being quoted as saying, a bloody sword is a beautiful thing. He also enjoyed honing it. He would say, I want it sharp enough to shave the hair from a woman's cunt. Of all his siblings, George has stated that Brandon was the best with a sword. And a good way of describing Brandon is by pointing out how vastly different he was from his brother Ned. When Catelyn Tully first met Ned, she remembered she had been expecting a younger version of his brother Brandon. But Ned was shorter, plainer in the face, and very somber. While Ned was described as having cold water in his veins, Brandon was described as hot-blooded. Ned spoke with courtesy that had a coolness underneath, while Brandon's amusement and laughter was as wild as his rages. At a young age, Brandon was sent to be fostered at Barrowton with Lord Dustin, but given how much he loved to ride, he would often be seen riding the rills, something he also matched his sister Liana in, who was said to be half a horse herself. Most likely while being fostered, he would take the virginity of Barbara Riswell, later to become Lady Dustin, and the two would become lovers. However, Brandon's father would arrange for him to marry Catelyn Tully when she was only 12 years old and Brandon Stark around 14 or 15. On Barbara and Brandon's last night together, Brandon would swear to her that he never wanted Catelyn Tully. At some point, Brandon would take Ethan Glover as his squire. In 281 AC, Brandon would compete in the tourney at Harrenhal. While at the tournament with his siblings, he would get Ashara Dane to dance with his brother Ned, who was too shy to ask her himself. At the tourney, Brandon was defeated by Rhaegar Targaryen, the crown prince and son of Ares II Targaryen. After Rhaegar defeated his last opponent, he rode past his own wife and crowned Brandon's sister Lyanna, the queen of love and beauty placing a garland of blue roses in her lap with the tip of his lance. Brandon took this as a slight on his sister's honor, who was betrothed to Robert Baratheon, and had to be restrained from confronting Rhaegar. At the age of 20 in 282 AC, Brandon and Catelyn's wedding would be announced. Peter Baelish, in love with Catelyn, would challenge Brandon for his right to her hand. But Peter was a 15-year-old going against a 20-year-old, and it went as poorly as you'd imagine it would. Edmure Tully, Catelyn's younger brother, served as Brandon's squire during the duel, and the two boys met in the lower bailey of River Run. Peter wore only a helm, breastplate, and mail, so Brandon took off most his armor. Before the fight, Peter begged Catelyn to give him a favor he might wear, but Catelyn instead gave Brandon her token, a pale blue handscarf embroidered with the leaping trout of River Run. As she pressed it into his hand, she pleaded with Brandon, He is only a foolish boy, but I have loved him like a brother. It would grieve me to see him die. Catelyn would remember how Brandon looked at her, with the cool gray eyes of a Stark, and how he promised to spare the boy. Brandon drove Peter all across the bailey and down the water during their fight, raining steel on him every step, until the boy was staggering and bleeding from a dozen wounds. During the fight, Brandon repeatedly yelled at him to yield, but Peter would continue fighting on with a shake of his head. When their duel took them to the river, water up to their ankles, Brandon ended it with a brutal backhand cut that went through Peter's rings and leather and into his flesh below his ribs. A cut so deep, Catelyn had feared it was mortal, but because of Catelyn's request, Brandon let Peter off with a scar. Ned would say much later that Brandon spoke of Peter often with some heat. All continued as it should, but on the day Brandon was to head to River Run for his wedding to Catelyn, he would hear of his sister Lyanna's abduction by Rhaegar Targaryen. Instead of continuing to River Run, he told Catelyn Tully, I shall not be long, my lady. We will be wed on my return. And he went to King's Landing. Many considered it a rash thing to do, and the Lord of River Run called him 
That gallant fool. Brandon rode to the Red Keep with a few companions. Kyle Royce, Jeffrey Malister, Albert Aaron, John Aaron's nephew and heir, and Brandon Squire, Ethan Glover. And when Brandon arrived at the Red Keep, he shouted for Prince Rhaegar to come out and die. But Rhaegar wasn't there, and Ares II had his guards arrest them for plotting to murder his son. Ares II accused the boys of treason, and summoned the fathers of the boys to court to answer the charge while the sons remained as hostages. When the fathers came to Ares II, he had the fathers and sons murdered without trial. The only exception was Lord Rickard, who demanded a trial by combat. Ares II agreed, and Rickard armored himself for battle, ready to duel one of the king's guard. But Ares had other plans. He had the man taken to the throne room and suspended from the ceiling, while two of Ares' pyromancers kindled a fire beneath him. The king announced that Fire was the champion of House Targaryen, and all Rickard had to do to prove himself innocent of treason was to not burn. While Rickard was suspended above the fire, his son Brandon was brought in, his hands chained behind his back and a wet leather cord around his neck attached to a device Ares had brought from Tyrosh. The king left Brandon's legs free, and his longsword set just out of reach. Ares said that Rickard would start to cook unless Brandon could free his father. Brandon struggled against the cord, but the more he struggled, the tighter the cord became around his neck. Brandon strangled himself to death at the age of 20 and a few days from his wedding, trying to save his father. His father would perish shortly after that. Of all the sons and fathers, Ethan Glover, Brandon Squire, was the only one to survive. Brandon's body was buried in the Winterfell crypts on one side of his father and given a statue with a sword, despite never being a lord of Winterfell. His sister Lyanna's tomb would rest on the opposite side of their father. However, both Brandon and Lyanna's tombs were smaller than their father's. In A Clash of Kings, Bran Stark would take his uncle and namesake sword when fleeing Winterfell. Also in A Clash of Kings, during Theon Greyjoy's nightmare, he would see Brandon Stark standing next to Lyanna, with their father Rickard behind them. Come back every week for new Game of Thrones A Song of Ice and Fire videos. Besides that, hit the like button, it helps out the video and channel a lot. And stay put because we are still on Stark Month.